when we first moved here, um, we were looking at a neighbour up the road had said, this is an amazing road to live in because you hear extraordinary piano music on summer evenings. And we didn't know what they, what they meant by it. And they said, because um, Fanny Waterman lives over the road. One of my daughters had lessons with her for uh, many years and we started um, hosting competitors who wanted to use the piano to practice and that really became sort of our main involvement with the competition, hosting competitors over the years. So it's just been an absolute joy. And, uh, and this time we've, uh, we've hosted um, one of the competitors for quarantine reasons. That was, a, that was another thing, you know, making sure they were properly fed and able to withstand any, <laughs> any, any virus threats that came, you know, felt a real obligation to make sure that they were kept safe and secure to be able to compete in the, the second round. The way that the Friends of the Piano competition has come together to create a, quite an extraordinary uh, support community for the pianists in the competition, it, it's, it's really been remarkable. But I think what's really nice, just seeing the, the way that the competition has um, moved forward over the last six years, and it's, it's really been extraordinarily positive change. And reaching out now into the city um, so that all sorts of people who previously might not have associated Leeds with the piano competition now really see it as something amazing. This is the first time we've ever we've ever been. I've heard about it on the radio, I think. It's a very important event in, um, well, not just Leeds, actually. It's sort of in, internationally a very important event. We both do quite a lot of music, don't we, together? Sort of amateur. Yeah. Um, both I mean, play the piano a bit. So. Jonathan has a diploma in the piano, don't you? So, yeah, so we, we enjoy playing yeah. the piano. When you've been teaching for a long, long time, something like this gives you a zip. And you go home and all the pupils look at you and think, what's she going to say today? <laughs> what have I got to practice today? Do you have any favourites so far, or is that a secret? I had a winner that unfortunately didn't get through to the second, to this round. So I'm deeply saddened by an English boy. He was wonderful. He played Chopin just as I liked. Every note he did, it was perfect, absolutely perfect, the, the Chopin players but he didn't get through. So we've always had these, most of the time, we have disagreements over who goes through and who doesn't. You should be on the jury by now. I know, I sure shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> then I would have had that one put through. Well, we haven't seen any yeah. so far, so we've come with a notebook and a pen <laughs> to see who we prefer. <laughs> <laughs> 